Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I create my 3D unicorn horn. I've just used any cover peach acrylic for a base. I'm just going in now with a basic white acrylic, patting towards the left for the nose and the mouth. You need quite a big bead of white acrylic for this. Patting in there for the cheek and the head. Patting it down, creating an indent between the cheek and the nose and mouth. Try not to lose that indent there from my patting. Just creating that base shape. Poking now for where I want the eye to be, I am going to rework this with my drilling tools, but this is just so I know where I want it to be. Because if you don't like it, you could always go back over that with white acrylic, cover it up and go again. There we are. See? Just where I want it to be. Now I'm going to go in with the ears. You only want a smaller bead, which I'm going to drain slightly so it doesn't run everywhere. Placing the bead, dragging it up, kind of like you're making a leaf shape. Creating that point. Looks more like a pig at the moment, but it um, won't be for much longer because obviously we are going to work more into it, so don't freak out too much. Creating a second ear. Don't worry about blending the base into the head of the ears either because we are going to put the unicorn's hair there to disguise that, so don't worry. I know it looks rather odd right now. Draining the bead again to create the unicorn horn. You want the unicorn horn to be larger than the ears. Straightening those sides out, making sure it's pointed enough for how I'd like it. Now I'm going to drill into mine, you don't have to, you could now go in with your metal tool once it goes matte to create your lines in it if you don't have an e-file. Just going to work into the eye now with one of my drill bits, it's just a basic little small rounded drill bit tool which I got off eBay. Just working into that to make it more 3D like. Like that, tiny bit into the nostril, to the nose, just a little bit, like that, dusting in with my dusty brush, which is also on my website, along with this 3D brush which isn't on there yet but it will be soon. Now I'm creating a little bit of like an eyebrow I suppose with a small bead of white just to make it a bit more 3D looking. I'm also going to repeat this onto the nostril with a tiny teeny bead. Just the smallest little bead and then mould it while it's drying. Only a little bit. Just like that. Now I have used my drill already by now on my unicorn horn to make it less looking like a carrot but as I said earlier you can use your metal tool. I'm going in with Glam and Glitz black lace for the eyeball now. This colour is on my website, which I will leave the link below in the description box for you. You only want a small, tiny, teeny little bead for this. Just tidying up that line a little bit there. going into my white and I'm just going to put a tiny little dot on his eye there just because putting away black lace now I'm getting from the glow collection of glam and glitz ray of sunshine for my turquoise colour 
from the Glow Collection again, Electrifying, which is my pink, which glows pink in the dark. And Boardwalk for my purple. As I said earlier, these are all on my website available, so I'll leave the link in the description box for you. So I'm going to start with my turquoise, Ray of Sunshine, Glow in the Dark. I'm going to create kind of like a little sausage worm type shape. Just on his head there. And then I'm going to start to press from either side. Let me just get in a good enough position because it is really fiddly. Pushing from this side, and then the opposite below, and then the other side again to create that hair like design. And I'm literally just going to keep repeating this step all the way for his hair. bit of purple underneath the horn, just a little, because I don't want to cover up my turquoise too much. Again, the same steps. Press, press the opposite way, press again. Just going back over that, because it was losing its shape slightly, with it still being quite wet. In with my pink. Same again. I did put a purple line underneath the pink one, but I decided to scrap that, so I removed it with my drill off camera. Now I'm just creating him a little bit of a body here with the white. Doesn't have to be overly perfect because you are going to go in with the hair on there. Which I've got to anyway with me getting little bits under his chin there. But I changed my mind, so let's add the turquoise. Same again, pressing from side to side. Sorry if I go out of shot, guys. In with my pink. Just a little bit there. There's no right or wrong way of this, you know. You can add the hair wherever you like. Whatever colours you like, I just chose these ones. Kind of like a rainbow unicorn I wanted him to be. Not sure why I'm calling it him, but you know, everyone to their own. And a bit of purple. Same again, pressing from side to side. Got a little dot on his head, I was just trying to get off there. Setting a bit of turquoise now, round the ears, to hide that line from the ears to the head, same way as I did before. Hint of pink. Decided to add a bit more turquoise because I just feel like I prefer the turquoise colour on there. Put more turquoise down here. This is just me being picky, just deciding to add a bit more. 
I'm still kind of learning as I'm doing this because this is actually my only, only my second time of ever doing this myself. The first time I did it, I had a customer that came in with a photograph of someone else's work that had done this. I was quite terrified at the time, but I winged it and I was pleased with it. So I decided why not try and do a tutorial of it. So this is just my go. So here we are. At this point I kind of wish I hadn't have added this bit of turquoise in there, but we live and we learn through these things. What do we think? Now I'm using my Kiara Sky Dip Essentials base, which I've got all my crystals stuck on with. Nice and firmly stuck. This is also on my website, which I'll be leaving the link to. Just scooping out the crystals. One of the things I love having nails for, little scoops. Let's add some crystals onto him. Just getting my gem tray. This is my gem tray. We sell these online. We sell the gem tray separately at the moment to the crystals, but you can purchase both. So I'm just adding a little bit at the base. This is after you've cleansed your no wipe top coat or whatever top coat you choose to use. I'm gonna use my wax stick at first and then I'm gonna go over to my pincers. I like using a bit of both, but I thought I'd show you both. Just adding them on, that easy. Really simple to do. And this holds your crystals for weeks and weeks on end. It's absolutely fantastic. Using my pincers now. Add a few colours in there. Colours to go with his or her hair. Because really, how would it be a unicorn without sparkle? Really? Bit one more in there, I think. Yep. And then I decided to go a bit crazy and add some more, even though it didn't technically need it, but you know, why not? <laughs> May as well. Add a nice big turquoise one in there. Love that colour. Going for light amethyst there. White opal, oh, lost him. Fishing back out. Love white opal gems. Maybe just one or two more. We'll have a little AB. Look at that glistening. And then one more. We're gonna go for a cyclamen opal this time, which is like a purpley pink opal. It's really beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Any questions, don't hesitate to leave me them below. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. So I shall see you very soon, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.